summer is gone But the summer is gone Hi there, my name is James, this is my wife Lisa, and I'm doing this video blog of my journey from Vancouver Island in British Columbia to Hay River Northwest Territories. The view as it stands the day before I leave, which will be at 4.30 in the morning tomorrow to catch the 7 a.m. ferry to the mainland, and as my GPS shows are my Tesla Model S 85D, I have quite the journey ahead of me, summarized by this warning at the top. No superchargers available within range of destination. And as you can see, there are not many chargers at all once you get into central and northern Alberta. And my two beautiful children in the back here are not coming along with me on this trip. I'm doing it alone first to try it out and they will be coming up with me in March. This is Sydney. Hi. And Mitchell. Meh. You like saying meh. But the summer is gone. Let's go skip rocks. Oh, that's a big wave. Do you see that wave? Be careful out there. Hi. Beach. Not only beach. Birdie. Sewer birdie. He's like, ah. It's Monday, January 16th, and I am starting my journey to Hay River Northwest Territories today. Today, um, I'll be aiming for Revelstoke, British Columbia. Uh, I have to make a quick stop at Tesla for some winter tires before I head out into the mountains and in the Northwest Territories, and then be continuing on my journey. I charged up to 100% last night. I'm showing 415 kilometers on the battery. First stop is Swartz Bay. Quick little hour drive, 62 kilometers from Souk. <laughs> terminal. The first couple days is the easy part of the trip. It's all supercharger route to Red Deer and up to Edmonton. After that, starting Wednesday morning is when the real fun begins as I go off the grid and outside most of the charging network into northern Alberta. Today I'm aiming for Revelstoke. I have to do a small detour over to Tesla Vancouver on West 4th for some winter tires, which is a good thing because the weather does not look the greatest for Rogers Pass today. Um, should be back on the road before noon and then heading up into the Rockies. <laughs> at the Tesla Vancouver on West 4th, safe and sound. Now I go up and get some new tires. They're gonna check the heated seats because they're acting up a bit. And hopefully on the road by 11.30. Tesla's finished with the winter tires, but I got a surprise, I had a bent rim apparently. And so that cost me another thousand dollars for the turbine wheels. So that's a little unexpected, but it is what it is. So I'm off to hope now.
It is 1.30 p.m. I've made it successfully to Hope to supercharge. So 45 minute charge and I'll continue on to Kamloops. Quick stop here in Merritt, BC to check on the status of superchargers. They're coming along nicely. Still wrapped up, but uh, looks like they might be online soon. Hi there. It is 5 p.m. Pacific time. I am just top finishing charging up in Kamloops. I have successfully arrived in Revelstoke, safe and sound. The weather turned out not to be a factor, and the drive was exactly as predicted. I'm gonna go check in and uh, then move the car once I'm at 90% and uh, start the day tomorrow. So this is how much snow I got. we got last night in Revelstoke. Preheated the car and warming the battery. Just gotta clean it off and I'll be on the road. Boom, magically cleaned off. Well, it's uh, 9 a.m. It took two hours to drive from Revelstoke to Golden. The weather was, let's say, not the greatest. It's snowing, lots of trucks on the road. Roads were not plowed very well, so you had a wake behind the truck, and then an oncoming truck pass, and you lost visibility for a while. So it was slow going. Uh, interestingly enough, it was a two hour drive and it wasn't high speed and we used 41.6 kilowatt hours. So there's the profile. That was not speeding, um, easy on the driving. And of course it was a little cooler. So minus nine, minus 10 degrees Celsius after Rogers Pass uh, Summit. Uh, roads were better plowed after that, but still lots of blowing snow. And as you can see, it is snowing out there. Well, I've made it safe and sound to uh, Kenmore, and it is 12.43 p.m. All's looking good. It is 1.55 p.m. I just finished charging in Canmore at 98%. Nice out there, minus one, 415 kilometers range. Going to uh, Red Deer, it shows 41, but I'm actually heading into Calgary first on the southeast side, so we'll see what it ends up as. Notice something interesting. I'm just getting on the highway here, and uh, usually when I'm at this close to full, almost 100% battery, it restricts my regen, but there is absolutely no restriction on regen with almost 98% battery charge. That's new. Did really good. I only seem to use maybe three more percent than predicted and uh, temperatures eight degrees Celsius. It's good drive. Roads are a mess. I was thinking about it at a car wash, but there's no point in doing that. Maybe I'll try in Edmonton. Just go pick something up and back on the road to Red Deer for my last supercharger for this trip. It is 326 and uh, next stop is my final supercharger for this trip in Red Deer. Should be there about 510 and here is my energy profile should be about that temperature is really nice we are sitting at a beautiful 11 degrees i see people out there in shorts and t-shirts shoveling snow you know you're in canada in your spring when that happens in calgary and uh just gonna start heading out for red deer oh the reason i stopped was to pick up this this is an in reach satellite communicator with gps it works anywhere, well, almost anywhere on Earth, and uh, will allow me to call for help and leave little breadcrumbs even when there is no cell coverage. So that is why I stopped in Calgary. Gotta love Alberta drivers. I'm doing 110 and 100 zone and I'm the slowpoke. successfully arrived in Red Deer. Arrived with 22% and it looks like I have used 54.3 kilowatt hours. Charge up here and next stop is the hotel in Edmonton. I'm just 
still supercharging in Red Deer. Since I left the Vancouver Vancouver Island, I've traveled 1,299.4 kilometers. To get to the, my house in Hay River, I have 1,242 kilometers, and there are no superchargers. So getting to here was the easy part. I'm continuing on to Edmonton tonight. I'm going to stay at a hotel with a destination charger, and then I begin my journey north tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to try for a community of, or the, the town of Peace River that is located right here. I have a charging stop. I'm going to charge up at the West Edmonton Mall. Uh, they have a destination charger to get to 100%. Then I'm going to charge up approximately this location here in a community called White Court. And then there, the last uh, official a charger is in Valley View. It's approximately here. That's a J1772 80 amp. And then I will stop in Peace River for the night and charge up on a 30 amp um, welding socket, basically. Okay, it is 5.45 p.m. and I have ample charge for the Edmonton Hotel, so I'm going to hit the road. I have 77%. Much better. Car wash. Be dirty within seconds. <laughs> now we see if they held my the EV spot for me. They held the spot. Well, actually, no one's in it. Of course, it's warm outside, so that's why not many people are in this garage. Good morning. It's Wednesday, January 18th, and it is 10 to 7. Uh, car is all charged up to 100%. Packed up, gonna go grab a coffee and a quick bite and then hit the road. I programmed Valley View into the, the GPS in the car just to see what it says. And it looks like it estimates 8%, so that's cutting a little close. So I will set this to go to White Court. 48% on arrival. So even with that, it looks like it would be very possible in extreme cold. <laughs> Of course, the most important stop of the day, coffee. Model X in Edmonton. Gotta love it. Uh, one of my original plans was to stop here at the West Edmonton Mall. They have a couple 80 amp Tesla high power wall connectors. Um, if you stopped here, I've, I've already lost 10% just getting onto the northwest side. You could add another 10% which would make this a lot easier in the extreme cold. Heading on to Highway 16, the Yellowhead out of Edmonton. Leaving the last big city before heading north. Cruising along at 105 and a 110 zone to conserve power. Range mode is on. It's one degree Celsius outside. So I'm coming up to my turn to Mackenzie Highway, Alaska Highway. Number 43 heading north. Looking good. Lost a little bit of range, but nothing severe. It is 8.19 a.m. I'm reaching my halfway point. ETA of 44% battery when I arrive at the Tim Hortons in White Court. I'm averaging 105 kilometers an hour. Temperatures going back and forth between 4 and 5 degrees C. But the summer is gone. Eight forty-four a.m. Coming up to three-quarter point. Averaging about 108, 109. I'm just drafting this truck. It seems to be helping. I'm just coming up on White Court in 48 kilometers. And the energy profile is pretty much bang on. But the summer is gone. I have successfully arrived in White Court. I made a quick stop here at the ESO that just opened up. They advertised themselves as a stunning pee stop. So I thought I'd ask them if they'd be willing to put in a destination charger. As you can see, followed the range profile pretty good. And I'm just shy of the Tim Hortons, so not too much more to get there. Next up is the Husky Gas Bar up near the casino where I've arranged for a 50 amp charge. Nine forty-five a.m. and I am at the White Court RV Park. 204 volts, 40 amps on a 50 amp circuit. So working really well. Yeah, a couple hours if that like to make sure I have 20% for arrival. There is an 80 amp in Valley View. Hey there guys, it's 11.52 a.m. I think I will call that good. So I've charged up to 58%, 17% on arrival in Valley View, the last 
J1772 uh, until high level. I've charged to 58%, added 15 kilowatt hours to the pack, and uh, it's been a steady eight kilowatts. If it was minus 30, this would be a longer charge, definitely, but uh, it isn't, so lucky me. But the summer is gone. Um, looking good, should be there about 1.30ish, and temperature is six degrees. Quick side note, on these roads, long, straight, kind of boring. This is when you love autopilot. I've made Valley View. There's a car in the EV spot, but should reach. We'll see in a sec. Almost did exactly rated it at 189 watt hours per kilometer. So I'm plugged in to the J1772 here at the Petro Canada and Valley View. And as you can see, I'm going to get 80 amps, which is sweet. And I think I will call that good for my drive to Peace River. I'm at 52% and showing 21% on arrival. I haven't tested this outlet in Peace River, so I wanted a little buffer just to check. I suspect I'll be tracking that pretty close to bang on for this drive. And I am going 140 kilometers to the Saw Ridge Inn and Conference Center in Peace River. They've offered to allow me to use a... Uh, 30 amp 240 volt outlet in their workshop overnight.